any prayers you would like us, any intentions you would like us to hold for this um, work, this thing, this thing. I'm trying to get on YouTube, so I can't even, I can't think and, I can't talk and do anything at the same time. I guess I can walk and talk at the same time. That's about it for me. All right, here we go. Experience of Light Part 2. There's probably not a lot of people on there because we just launched it, so who knows, but okay how do i open that tensions you would like okay, here we go to... let's get rid of that okay we're running ragged today running ragged okay cool okay so let's um we're gonna call in the light i guess the first calling in the light doesn't have to be subject oriented so we'll we'll do that next I've had it. I've had it. All right. I'm just going to call in the light. That's the only thing you can do when you're exasperated, right? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to call in the light. I need it more than anybody. All right. Um, yeah. I'll just do the old standby. Okay. Okay. So for calling in the light, just for anyone who's new to this, um, you want to be in a sort of private space. You don't want people looking at you, making fun of you while you do this. Um, Earphones, headphones, earbuds, whatever, uh, are good to have. Um, you know, come in with an open mind. Any words I say that, uh, I don't know, that you, you don't feel lined up for your beliefs or whatever, just translate them. Both, basically, any, any of the mystical words I'm using just basically mean transcendent love, ultimately. Um, you know, ultimate love. So you can, you can do your own translation. For any words I use, but I'm just using the words that have great meaning in my heart that I feel that that's like makes things uh, real for me. Um, and it's possible if you tune into the words I'm using and you kind of go with it, they might become real for you too. Um, they, I mean, they certainly are real as far as I, as far as I know. That one thing like you know in your life of what's real, like so these words are real for me. So all right, here we go. Enough chit chat. Calling in the light. Mm. my oh my I've already okay we'll, we'll just go with that I don't even know what I just did okay so the first thing we do when we call in the light we close our eyes let your breath relax Start to notice a light just above your head. This light just above your head is your crown. It is your halo. It is your connection to the divine. It is your connection to the most high. And as you focus on this light, you might start receiving a signal from the most high. It's time to invite that signal in to our consciousness. And as we open up that signal, open up that portal, the light becomes stronger. And through that light, we can call to our creator. We can call to the angels of the most high. We can call to the Holy Spirit and ask that they be with us. So we lay aside all concerns for the world and we ask with all our hearts that the angels begin their procession from heaven to earth to surround us and be with us. And we ask the angels of the Most High and the Holy Spirit to be with us now. Christ is with us, and the light is with us. And we unify our hearts and minds with the great light from which we emanate. 
and this great emanation of light sings through us. And the song it evokes in our heart is a song of light that reach out and extends to everyone we are connected to in the world. You have become a song of light. Through this song of light, you are triggering what others need. And there will be a moment where your light reaches the light of those who most need your light. And the light can be jarring because it is working on us. It's like pulling a band-aid off. So now we surrender to our light together and move our consciousness into a higher realm. The light has come, the light is in our consciousness and there is much to be grateful for. In this light of consciousness, you can begin asking your heart, your mind, your soul, whom or what is it that you have a prayer for? Whom or what is it that you want to send light towards? Listen now. doing here is anchoring divine light in this world. Currently, there's a great shuddering of darkness in the world, but it is a purging. It is a purging of all that is unclear, unclean, unholy in our current earthly existence. We are replacing all of that with something beautiful. And yes, the purging can hurt. And yes, the purging can be confusing. And yes, we may lose loved ones through this, at least on the physical level. But on the spiritual plane, on the realm of the soul, your soul is infinite. Not one soul is lost. No one who disappears from this physical plane truly disappears. They are still available for you. You can still reach out to them. You can still commune with their souls. And what we are doing now is aligning our consciousness with the consciousness of the Most High. And when we do that, it opens the doorway for miracles. All right, Miracle Course crew, uh, if anyone has a... Um, an inside a prayer request, something like let's do something around this or that or whatever. I, I, there's, there's a co-creation that I think happens when, when you contribute that way. So whoever's feeling called, let the Holy Spirit call you, let the angels speak to you and, you know, give me a, um, a little, little inspiration to go with and we'll do it. Okay. Um, okay. And now I'm reading, uh, I'm reading the YouTube comments. Oh boy, enlightenment of all humanity, inner divine awaken with each and every that they may know love. 
the original source creator, sending lots of good thoughts. Tell that Teo guy he has a secret admirer. Oh, wow. Hey, Teo, you've got a secret admirer. <laughs> all right. Um, <clears throat> a prayer for all of our enemies that God's holy light may penetrate their heart and hearts and minds. Wow. All right. That's from Teo, by the way. Um, rise and shine, unite, divine timeline. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. Um, mm, mm. Man, I really. Oh, no, 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 no. And I really do love that one. I thought that way. This way? Yeah, okay, here we go. We're going we're gonna to do, do another prayer. This, this is a prayer that I've just been enjoying so much. Is Jen here today? Let's see if Jen is here today. Uh, no. Oh, well. She keeps missing it. She's she's a star, by the way. This is this is Jen makes a guest appearance in this. She's a star. Okay, here we go. Now we lay down our swords. All the fighting all the antagonism, all of the separation that we have felt with our fellow brothers and sisters. We realize now it was mistaken, for they are divine sparks of our creator just as we are. And we are made holy in communion with them. So now, we call on the angels of the Most High and the Holy Spirit to sanctify our relationship with all of humankind. And as St. Michael the Archangel enters into our presence, he assuages all darkness and fear. All disease and discomfort is assuaged by Raphael. All viral contagion is cleared from the air. We are shown that there is something greater than our mere physical comfort and health. It is the comfort and health of our souls. And Archangel Michael is saying to me and all of us right now that he is not here to make our lives easy he is here to make our souls good. He is here to pave the way for the Blessed Mother to do her sanctifying work with us. Here she is. Move, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and all gentle beings. Blessed is your Son, Jesus, the Son of God. Holy Mary, Mother of God, be with us now. Guide us to the holy light. Pray that we may live in truth, clarity and peace. May your grace and love be with us at all times. Blessed Virgin Mary, in God's grace, guide us to live fully in love, forever onwards. Amen. For all the harm we have caused our Mother Earth, for all the slights we have caused our mothers on Earth, for all of the injustice we have contributed to, for all the mothers on Earth, we turn to the Sacred Mother, and we lend her our prayers as she intercedes for us. And we recognize that perhaps this virus is a reflection of the way we have treated our Mother Earth and our mothers on Earth. 
So now, we ask for forgiveness. We ask that our hearts be changed. And we see that we are being implored to love one another. That this is finally our chance to celebrate each other. To be in holy communion with one another. To put down our swords. To put down our grievances. And come to come together as one in deep compassion and heartfelt sincerity and pure love and creativity to really show one another that you are not alone. You are loved. So once more we ask for the intercession of the Mother of God. Mother of God, pray for us now. Oh, Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and all gentle beings. Blessed is your Son, Jesus, the Son of God. Holy Mary, Mother of God, be with us now. Guide us to the holy light. Pray that we may live in truth, clarity and peace. May your grace and love be with us at all times. Blessed Virgin Mary, and God's grace, guide us to live fully in love, forever onwards. Amen. When we say these prayers, we are ridding the world of darkness. We are purging the world of darkness. And like many viruses, they can have a purifying effect on the soul while they ravage the body. So through the body suffering, the soul may be purified and through the collective suffering of so many hundreds of thousands of bodies worldwide, and so many millions more doing everything they can to help those in need. Our souls collectively are purified in this grace. So when we ask Blessed Mother to intercede for us, her light shines so bright that no darkness can stand in her midst. All darkness is eviscerated, and so we ask her to intercede once more. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and all gentle beings. Blessed is your Son, Jesus, the Son of God. Holy Mary, Mother of God, be with us now. Guide us to the holy light. Pray that we may live in truth, clarity, and peace. May your grace and love be with us at all times. Blessed Virgin Mary, and God's grace, guide us to live fully in love, forever onwards. Amen. Amen. time for uh, one more um, we have time for one more sort of spontaneous prayer so any um, any anything that the spirit is moving you if you got the Holy Spirit talking to you or one of the archangels 
speaking to you about a particular subject or tone or what have you or theme for our next prayer, throw it out there because that's, that's how miracles happen. I love it, Pamela. Humanity is broken, is that, and that is how the light gets in. That's a perfect theme. We'll do that one. All right, Pamela. Here we go. Humanity is broken. But that is how the light gets in. This pandemic has brought humanity to our knees. But while we find ourselves on our knees, we realize that being on our knees has a purpose, for that is where we pray. So, as we've been sent to our rooms to think about what we've done in this world, as we are on our knees regarding humanity's brokenness, we are finally humbled enough to call on the great light. So now, with great humility, on our knees, we pray for the light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Through our humble petition, our Creator hears our call and answers us with the light that we finally had the humility to request. For light does not come uninvited. Love does not come uninvited. It will not violate our free will. It will not force itself on us. It simply waits patiently for our invitation. And so now, in humanity's brokenness, on the cross of this pandemic, we ask for the resurrection. We ask for the redemption. Lord, let there be light. And the light has come. And the light is with us. And the light is our strength. The bodies we are so concerned about are nothing in this light. For the light reveals the sanctity of our souls. The light reveals the power from which we emanate. And that power is greater than all physicality. And that power is timeless and eternal. And that power is one with us. And we are that power. We are emanations of the great creator. We are reborn in the image of light, in the image of our creator. And God is with us now. And we have nothing to be afraid of. We have only love to give. And that is enough. We are beings of perfect light. We are eternal creations of the Most High. And we give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. process of calling in the light. I 
transforms our minds. The light imprints the divine code in our subconscious. Our poorly, poorly programmed subconscious minds, our egos are so distraught against the light, are so broken in their ways. But when we call on the light, the light transforms our consciousness and it imprints itself on our subconscious, rewiring us, reprogramming us for grace and the grace it's always with us and the grace is always available in the form of miracles but you will be called upon to work so the first miracle we ask you to work is to say the sacred imperative let there be light and the light has come amen Miracles Course Crew, if anyone has a very quick uh, prayer suggestion, I'm all ears. Otherwise, I will dive into the final benediction. The last rite. Okay. Did I um, mute everyone and force it to mute? Mm, no, you're allowed to unmute yourselves. Okay, cool. Well, then I will proceed with the last rite unless somebody chimes in in the next few seconds. For anyone new here, this last rite, this final benediction, this is a prayer that if you have someone you love that is gravely ill, facing their mortality, this prayer can be incredibly healing and it's good for all of us to do but especially when you feel like you're about to meet your maker when you feel like you're about to lose your life when you're battling uh, a deadly disease or anything of that sort this becomes particularly handy so please if you have someone in your life that might need this um, I guess direct them to the end of this video and let them let them participate in this because it can help a soul facing transition. It is what we all ultimately need. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Holy hosts above, I call upon thee as servant of Christ. Sanctify our actions in fulfillment of the will of God. Holy hosts above, I call upon thee as a servant of Christ to sanctify our actions in fulfillment of the will of God. I call upon the great archangel Raphael, master of air and breath and healing, to open the way for this to be done. I call upon the great archangel Michael to open the way for this to be done, I call upon the great Archangel Gabriel to open the way for this to be done. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend that all beings may be awakened to the world beyond the life of Earth and infused with the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend, that you may be awakened to the world beyond the life of Earth and infused with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit now descend, that we may be awakened to the world beyond the life of Earth and infused with the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you receive these children into your arms that they might find safety from this crisis. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you receive us into your arms that we might find safety from this crisis. For as you have said to us, let not your heart be troubled. For in my Father's house are many mansions, and I have prepared a place for you. Let not your heart be troubled. For in my Father's house are many mansions, and I have prepared a place for you. So let not your heart be troubled. For I have prepared a place for you. So let it be. Done. Call to mind anything weighing heavy on your heart, any guilt or shame or regret, for we are going to absolve these in the light of the atonement and perfect grace. By this sign, you are anointed with the grace of the atonement of Jesus Christ, and you are absolved of all past error and freed to take your place in the world he has prepared for us. By this sign, you are anointed with the grace of the atonement of Jesus Christ, and you are absolved of all past error and freed to take your place in the world he has prepared for us. And this world is heaven, and heaven is your inheritance as a precious creation of God. And this heaven is something we can all choose together now. Amen. So we were going to say one more prayer for all first responders and leaders and essential workers. We're going to lift these people into the light. So buckle up. Here we go. Let us call to mind with all our hearts the images of all of those who are risking their lives and well-being for the greater good against this pandemic. All of those who know they are putting themselves in harm's way, working seemingly endless shifts tired and stressed and isolated, perhaps a bit scared. We now focus on the divine sparks, the divine spark in each and every one of these souls. And as these divine sparks come together, they create beautiful constellations like the night sky full of stars. 
So we look up at the stars of our time, the true stars of our day. They're not movie stars, they're not celebrities, they're not bankers, people flexing their wealth. They are the humble caregivers, the humble first responders, the humble grocery store workers, and all essential workers putting themselves out there. And we feel their light shining down upon us. like billions of stars in the sky. And the angels are with them. And so now, we call on Archangel Michael. Call on Christ and the Holy Spirit to be with us in this process of lifting all of these divine souls up into the heavenly light where this heavenly light can eviscerate their fear, can protect them from sickness, can give them the grace under fire which they need. So now we reach out with our hearts and souls under the protection and grace of Christ and the Holy Spirit and Archangel Michael we take hold of these beautiful souls and we start to lift them up into the light. And as we take hold of these souls, we feel how the darkness of this pandemic is pulling them down, is weighing them down, is causing them grief, is causing them suffering. So now we bring in the power of our collective light and our collective will and we say our collective prayer and we ask that these souls be lifted into the light and we use our own light, our own love to begin lifting them. And we can feel the gravity of these souls as the darkness is pulling down on them. So we we keep working, we keep holding. I got you, brother. I got you, sisters. And the darkness is losing its grip on them. And we are now all lifting together and we take hold of these amazing souls and we embrace them in a giant family hug these souls and the angels are all around us and they are reaching underneath us and we are now ascending together up into the light and the darkness has loosened its grip and the darkness is falling away in the light and we are rising higher and higher and faster and faster like a buoy from the dark depths of the ocean rising up to the great light of the surface the surface is the surface of heaven and as we rise to the light of heaven with these souls, we are arm in arm, we are hand in hand. We've got you brothers, we've got you sisters. And we are rising now, faster and faster, up into the light and the light is all around us. And we are lifting these souls above our heads, up into the arms of heaven, into the hands of Christ. And our work here for the moment. It's done. Amen. All right, folks. If you're out in YouTube land or on miraclescourse.com for the free live stream, come back tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. New York time. Um, we're doing this every day as a vigil for all of those who are... Uh, contending with this great pandemic and all of those contending with any other issues this is a prayer vigil this is a vigil of light that we're holding each and every day it is our way of contributing and if you want to be part of our uh, gathering our soul family is gathering inside miraclescourse.com 
so you're free to sign up there. If for whatever reason, on a day that you expect this live stream to occur and it's not happening on YouTube or whatever platform you find us on, uh, always you can always go to miraclescourse.com and we embed it right there. So there might be days that we only broadcast to Twitch or to some other platform like Facebook or what have you. Um, but we always, hopefully, always are broadcasting every day at 7 p.m. New York time. And so if you don't see us where you expect to, just go to miraclescourse.com. It should be right there um, embedded on at the top of that homepage. All right. Everyone, God be with you. Keep calling in the light. doesn't hurt to rewind this video and watch it again some other time today or tomorrow. Uh, the more we call in the light, the more that light has power in this world through our invitation. God be with you.